First, we have the definition of a convex set. A set G is said to be convex if for any two points A and B in G, we can draw a line segment joining A and B that completely contained in G. Line segment joining A and B is represented by some square bracket AB that is the line joining A and B. That is if we take any two points in a set G then we can find a line segment joining A and B such that that line segment is completely contained in G. That is if we take a set like this and a point A is here B is here then the line joining A and B is like this. But this line segment is not completely contained in G therefore this set is not convex. So convex set means one set is joined in the line segment line segment completely contained in that set. That is why the set is convex set. Next we have another definition that is star shaped set. Star shaped set means a set G is said to be star shaped if there exists a point A in G such that we can find line segment to any other point in G that is Z1 or Z2, Z3 like any point Z in G then we, ha we can draw a line segment from A to Z that is completely contained in G. So, convex set to star shaped set to the difference. All convex set to star shaped. But converse need not be true. Because if we consider a set like this, then if we consider a point here A and B, and we can draw a line segment like this, but uh, this line segment is not completely contained in G. So, this is not a convex set. But if, if we consider a point here, then we can find a line segment to any point any point in G that is completely contained in G. So, one set is star shaped in a set. Le, at least one point in the set. A point in the set will be the points in the set. line segment will be the line segment completely contained in that set. But in convex set, any two points in the line segment will be completely contained in the line segment. Star shape, any two points in the general point, at least one point in the set. So, this is the set. If we have a point in the point, we will have all the points in the set. For every set in G, we have a line segment that is completely contained in G. That is a star shaped and specific A star shaped set. So, A star shaped set means the line joining A and Z for every Z in G is completely contained in G. So, every convex set is a star shaped set but the converse need not be true. Then also we have, if we consider a set which is uh, star shaped, that is a G is a set, it is a star shaped, that is we can draw a line segment from A to Z for any Z that is completely contained in G. And if uh, Z and W is any other set in this set same set G then the line joining the line joining Z A W that is uh, Z to A and A to W Z A W so the line joining Z A W is a polygon that is it form a shape and uh, from this we can say that if a set G is A star shaped, then any two points can be connected through A. That is, one set star shaped, 
a star shaped triangle there exists a point a uh, there exists a point a such that we can draw we can draw line segment from a to any point z so if we take two points z and w so z and w namukku ingane connect cheyan pattilla karanam appo line segment g ana z ne porthekku povum but since g is a, a star shaped we can draw lines from a to z and a to w so we can connect z and w by we can connect z and w through a that is z to a and a to w so in a, a star shaped or simply star shaped set any two points are connected so such sets that is every star shaped sets are connected in parayan pattu now we have a proposition that is let g be an open set which is a star shaped if gamma not is the curve which is constantly equal to a then every closed rectifiable curve in g is homotopic to gamma not that is we have given a a star shaped open set g that is g illa edoru point like a il ninnu g il thanne contain cheyna line segment gal varikkan pattu also we have given a curve gamma not which is closed aanu rectifiable aanu and gamma not is constantly equal to a that is gamma not of t equal to a for every t that is gamma not is a constant curve we have to show that for any closed rectifiable curve any closed rectifiable curve is homotopic to gamma not g le ed closed rectifiable curve e constant curve node gamma not node homotopic aayirikum that is oru a star shaped set le oru a star shaped set le ed closed rectifiable curve constant curve node that constant equal to a constant a constant curve node homotopic aayirikum ennana ee proposition parayunnathu so adinu venditte we have gamma not of t equal to a for every t homotopy by definition prove cheyan namukku oru continuous function vanam we take the closed rectifiable curve gam has gamma 1 then we have to show that gamma 1 is homotopic to gamma not then we define the function capital gamma of s t equal to t gamma 1 of s plus 1 minus t gamma not of s here gamma not of s equal to the constant a so we can rewrite it as t gamma 1 of s plus 1 minus t into a so here also gamma from 0 1 cross 0 1 to g g is a star shaped a star shaped set aanu g അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ഗാമ ഓഫ് എസ് ടി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി കണ്ടെയ്ൻഡ് ഇൻ ജി ആയിരിക്കും ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ലൈൻ സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഇക്വേഷൻ ഓഫ് എ ലൈൻ സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് പാസിങ് ത്രൂ എ സോ എയിൽ നിന്ന് എയിലൂടെ പാസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന എയിൽ നിന്ന് വരയ്ക്കുന്ന എല്ലാ ലൈൻ സെഗ്മെൻറ്റും സെഗ്മെൻറ്റുകളും ജിയിൽ തന്നെ ഉണ്ടാവും സോ ഗാമ ഓഫ് എസ് ടി കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി കണ്ടെയ്ൻഡ് ഇൻ ജി ആയിരിക്കും ഫോർ എനി സീറോ ലെസ് ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു എസ് ക്വാമ ടി ലെസ് ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ now we have to check the conditions of a homotopic relation capital gamma of s is 0 equal to put the value of t as 0 we get 0 into gamma 1 of s plus 1 minus 0 into a plus equal to a a means gamma not of t gamma not of s or t then next gamma of 
S1 gamma of S1 equal to 1 into gamma 1 of S plus 1 minus 0 sorry 1 minus 1 into A that's equal to gamma 1 of S so we get the first condition of homotopy then next gamma 1 of 0 t gamma 1 of 0 t equal to t into gamma 1 of 0 s in an 0 plus 1 minus t into a that is also we have to find gamma of capital gamma of 1 t that is t into gamma 1 of 1 plus 1 minus t into a and uh, we have gamma 1 is a close rectifiable curve uh, from defined on closed interval 0 1 so the initial point gamma 1 of 0 and uh, the terminal point gamma 1 of 1 are equal therefore these two are equal gamma capital gamma of 0 t equal to capital gamma of 1 t for 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 that is all the conditions of a homotopy are satisfied so we can say that gamma naught and gamma 1 are homotopic in the parameter so any closed rectifiable curve is homotopic to the constant curve gamma naught which is continuously or constantly equal to a in a a star shaped set next we have a definition of a homotopic to a constant curve that is if gamma is a closed rectifiable curve in g closed and rectifiable curve in g then gamma is homotopic to zero means gamma is homotopic to a constant curve so a curve gamma is homotopic to a constant curve means it is otherwise known as gamma is homotopic to zero okay thank you